Greetings, gentle viewers. And howdy, howdy. Come on, man. Sorry, it's just at the beginning of every one of our recording sessions. Lately has been a litany of everything that's wrong with us. <laughs> okay, we're finally not sick or injured. I mean, Billy's still injured, but he's basically fine. Yeah, yeah. And I'm still sick, but only for about two more days? Yeah. No, no. What the problem is now is that I'm tired, so I'm going to whine about it incessantly. Speaking of whining incessantly, we are the Bittersweet Gamers. Oh, I thought you were going to say something about a bunch of the diehard Danganronpa fans that kept screaming at me in the first two games. I'm the opinionator. I'm we squared. Moving on. Well, we're in the middle of the investigation. We have a pretty decent idea of what's going on, I think. Although, admittedly, some of it is probably due to the fact that we had already decided who we were going to peg as the killer. But I don't think it's actually that much of a stretch. Anyway, we thought of some new things, and we'll get to it when we establish our theory of the case. For now, I guess we're going to the seance, and I mean, at that point, we're just about done, don't you think? Unless some other place comes up that we need to investigate. But yeah, that's pretty much everything we need to look at. It was in the middle room. Yes, it was in the middle room. So we should go there last. Yeah, okay. Yeah, decent idea, decent point. Oh. Boo! Let's see if we can go find Kaito. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Hello. Again, we're blaming Kodakio. It seems pretty obvious narratively. Yeah, yeah. And I think we figured out how we did it in a way that deals with all the evidence that we have right now. Right. But who knows what else we don't have. Yeah, because we're going to find out more stuff here and we're going to find out stuff during the trial. It does seem to me to be extremely easy to defeat the transfer student from beyond the grave <laughs> did it angle, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because this Necronomicon, see... It's supposed to be burned up, and the ashes are supposed to be used. You and you see? and you only get one use per Necronomicon. This is the Necronomicon. <laughs> it wasn't burned into ashes. Correct. So nobody was brought back from the dead. There are also other reasons why no one was brought back from the dead. But as far as what we're talking about here, this is the definitive proof. So, Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shinichi. Uh. Well, no, not really, but the narrative kind of forced us into it, so here we are. But there, there's too many people if he participates. can he just watch? Right? Well, I think the rules say there could be more, but you need at least five. No, that was the Necronomicon. Everyone may participate. With this, you need five people. Well, it doesn't say you can't have more than five people. It's the Airbud rule. There's no rule specifically against it, so. The other four must make the following preparations. That seems to be the four participants, I mean, just, not including the spirit medium. Well, that just means that those four people need to be there to participate in the actual ritual. It doesn't mean that there can't be an No, I <laughs> just said he had to watch and not participate. Now you're saying he has to watch and not participate to argue against my point. Well, no, no, I was trying to get to the point that you were saying. Right, well, anyway. David, wake up! You are most welcome to join us. Oh. Is what I would like to say. However, just like Damon snarked, <laughs> only five, including the spiritual medium, may join. Well, what about Kibo? Oh, he doesn't man. want to be involved. I'd say something, except that Kokichi just, in fact, did kick Kibo out. <laughs> Assuming anybody could have heard you over that. <laughs> oh man, what a shame. Well, Kibo, you're out. Nobody really wanted you here anyway. Me? <laughs> Why me? Hmm. I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. Listen up! Robots and seances don't mix! They're like toothpaste and orange juice! Uh, 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 uh. 
true horror has been inflict inflicted upon Damon. <laughs> You see, to be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. You know, would he even count as a soul? I believe that that is a question outside our pay grade. Perhaps so, perhaps so. Why you? Don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come? Well, if Tsumugi were here, she would actually notice and comment on the hypocritical way in which you've been treated. But since she's not, no one will say anything. <laughs> hmm. That's why we're apologizing. Now get out of here before we take it back. Do not mock me. No one's apologized yet. Oh, man. Fine, fine. It's true, Ichi's bad. <laughs> Don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. Cho Denji Spark 2 is something else. <laughs> How rude! Why would I do that? Yeah, he's a metal hero. It means he has a sword. Yeah! Stop it. Stop whining, Kibo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> Fine. But I won't forget this betrayal, Shuichi! What, what did Shuichi do? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, he, I didn't even want to be here today. What did I do? Oh, yeah. That's so mean. So then. So, now Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do you understand? Do not enter the magic circle that I've drawn on the floor. Ha! Korekio, you fool! We have already closely examined the truth bullet of the caged child <laughs> in order to figure out what could have possibly happened or the way that it's going to work out. So we already know the rules. Yeah. That's us, not Chuichi. I guess you better explain this. Well, I mean, Kokichi did read it out loud to him. Oh yeah, but this is just to reinforce it. I think it's actually quite strange and not normal or not typical that uh, I go and do things like that, verify the information and assume that I mastered it before moving on. I think it's pretty obvious that he's going to be mimicking Angie's voice. Yeah, at the end. Yeah. It's the voice according to the ritual is supposed to come from the spirit medium. So if you can just do a good voice. Yeah. If you're just really good at doing voices, then all sorts of things are possible. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped upon. Um. You drew this magic circle with salt? Is that normal? Uh, kind That's of. That's correct. Yes, it is. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Though when I'm in a feisty mood, sometimes I will use oregano. Oregano? Well then. Are we talking about like a, a pasta party purity <laughs> per, per ritual? Performance. Performance, yes. A pasta party purity performance. Precisely. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but we will all die. How terrifying. But it may also unleash a curse. Uh, okay. Got it. <laughs> I'll be careful then. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Well, he did say that he memorized the dang thing. Yeah, like a copy of it long ago. I wonder why it is that he's so impressed by this particular one. You never know when one specific story will just resonate with you. Yeah, I suppose so. Do not worry. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Well, I still feel like maybe it wouldn't hurt to double check. Of course, I also have the caged child song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I have copied the words to the song down here. Please commit it to memory. But can I just read it off the card as, as I sing it? No. Oh. 
at last, at last, at long last, your young guard dog and little lost girl sealed within an iron cage of mountains bottom within the darkness. At last, at last, at long last, how many will be there by dawn? Will there be two or just one? Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little girl? At last, at last, at long last. It, right out of Raging Loop. Yep. yep. Well, because it is one of these types of songs. Yeah. Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read in the dark. Yeah, touche. Huh? We have to memorize the lyrics now? Man, maybe I better get Kibo after all. <laughs> Will the ceremony fail if I just go la 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 day of a dog <laughs> while it's going? Eh? Oh? You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here is the melody. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to Keo sing the song, and I did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Okay. All right, I think I've got it now. <laughs> Your memory is extraordinary. <laughs> Perish. Well, I'm not quite all the way better yet, I told you. You are indeed the ultimate <laughs> detective. <laughs> Well then. Well then, let us begin the ritual right away. No. No. Even the cat didn't like that one. <laughs> well then, let us begin the ritual right away. How exciting. Yay, we finally get to see Angie. I have so many questions to ask. So then. Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. Uh Oh? You mean a spirit medium? Huh. I kind of just assumed he was going to fill the role because he knows everything. Yeah. I suppose he's not forcing it. Or he's going to use ventriloquism? Perhaps. But yeah. wouldn't that mean that the person who's the spiritual medium be rather in on it when she realizes that the voice ain't coming from her? Not necessarily. What if it's Himiko? All right, fair enough, fair. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. See, the more you think about it being Himiko, the more all of this would seem to work. Mm. It's not quite hypnotism or suggestion, but she'll believe it because she wants to. Yeah. She is not in a good place right now. Yeah. Also, that would make, if it's Himiko, that'll make Tanko believe it. That's true, that's true. <sighs> then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. On the one hand, I suppose we did just call it, but... <sighs> I wonder, I wonder what it is that Himiko saw in her, I guess. Occasionally, she could be really nice, you know? Yeah. No. No. I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. To talk to Angie. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. See, there's another one of those kindnesses that Tenko keeps doing that Himiko doesn't ever appreciate. Yeah. I'm not saying that she should appreciate. I mean, Tenko is pushy like Angie and comes on really thick, but she's not manipulative. No, not at all. She's very straightforward and blunt, frankly. And she's ridiculously nice. Too nice, probably. Yeah. That's right! You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way, you can say goodbye to her. And after you've finished saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else! Please. Tenko. <laughs> How very self-sacrificing. By the way... Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So, 
If you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. <laughs> You'll feel better when you do. <laughs> well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. Damn it! And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Yes! Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko! Huh. So it's not just her personality. Well, let's face it, it's her personality. <laughs> but she's saying it's training her heart, huh? By actually feeling these different emotions strongly and expressing them. Well, for Himiko, that makes perfect sense because she's always so repressed. Well, that's very true. Yeah, I, I was talking about for Tenko. Ah, yeah, that yeah. probably would help Himiko. I don't know. I, I used to... I used to be more emotionally guarded. It's not like it's all gone away, but, like, as a legit uh, coping mechanism mm -hmm. to deal with negative emotions that one may face throughout day-to-day -day life, I actually have learned to express the whole thing out and process it. So, yeah. so I can, I mean, on the one hand, I can really vacillate between extremes, but I, I actually get that, you know? Huh. Well, like I've been saying a lot recently, Tenko is one of my favorite characters in this game. Which is great, because when she started out, we were both giving her, like, super stink eye. She's, she's just so nice. Mm. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> and she wanted to be kind of mean about it. Yeah! And then it was like, well, forget it, I can't do that. I know she likes pushy people. She likes Angie. Yeah, and even even after she kind of got converted by Angie, she still hung out with Tenko. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. It doesn't mean that throwing yourself at somebody, whether for friendship or romance, will necessarily win or is always <laughs> the right call, but that is what they have done. But how very sweet. Yeah. It seems like the two of them made up. That, that's good. I sincerely hope that nothing happens to the spirit medium because every chapter three so far in these games has had two murders. <laughs> and now I'm very worried. <laughs> Although to be perfectly honest, if a murder happened here, everyone would look at Cordy Q and be like, so you mind uh, explaining what's going on here? If that happens, I'm gonna be freaking furious. And then poor Himiko. Yeah. So then. So, now that we've decided on a spirit medium, let us begin. Yes! All right, Himiko, I'll see you later. I would not have expected that, to be honest, but now that you put it in my mind, <laughs> I'm so freaking worried. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Mm-hmm. Make sure you watch your steps, since it's so dark in here. No, your step. You watch your step. <laughs> Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Eating pizza? That's the wrong kind of turtle. <laughs> Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? Yeah, I really don't like the detail that they're going into showing us how everything is shaped in place. Well, to be fair, if it is Korekio, this is all part of the show. Yeah the more of the atmosphere you can really sell, the more likely people who participate in it are... Going to believe it. Yes. This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Like a type of group hypnosis? Yeah, I've gone on like haunted tours of famous cities sort of thing, like one in Tennessee. And you know, the entire time the guy's like telling you stories about a place to get you like prime to like possibly see something yourself or hear something that isn't there. It's just a similar thing. Piece of cake, I have five star flexibility. 
Not six star though. You worthless gotcha trash. <laughs> so then. Don't you diss my girl like that. Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place this iron cage atop Tenko. I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind, walk carefully so as not to disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. I'm a six star, unlike Tenko. <laughs> so all of my basics are good, even in my dump stats. I'm what whales pay for. <laughs> I shouldn't have lied. <laughs> I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. I'm also lazy. <laughs> it's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Don't just drop it on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he would like seeing women in cages. I, I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. If he says it's not funny, it ain't funny. Yeah. Please don't jinx us! <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? Something that Danganronpa 3 does that it does far better than the previous games, like two or three orders of magnitude better, is build tension. Yeah. Because now I'm starting to get really concerned. And this game keeps faking us out but we still keep getting concerned. Yeah, like we keep falling for it. For instance, it wasn't a surprise when Angie died. Yeah. But now the tension is really getting us, right? Yeah, no, I agree with you completely. Well, the thing about that, this is the third game. So, you know, you start to see patterns mm. and kind of expect certain types of outcomes, yeah. like within a range. So it's sort of a, like, what an interesting choice to not super ratchet up the tension around the actual murder, but instead hit the tension after it. Yeah. Because you're worried something else is going to happen, which it... Very well could. Yeah. For that matter, I guess the thing that it does worst in the other Danganronpa games is it isn't as emotional outside of the first chapter. Yeah. But part of that is also probably because we've seen the same thing several times before, and now we're just expecting it. Yeah, don't, that makes sense. That makes think? sense, yeah. Uh, considering how effective it was in Chapter 1, I'm going to assume that this game is going to like really uh, have a strong emotional presence, portrayal. It Words. I'm, I'm, darn it, I'm not at 100%, and I'm tired, so like... My brain is is moving with ideas quickly, but my my tongue and the language processing is going like glurp that boop knocking. <laughs> so I don't even remember what I was saying now. This is what I'm saying. Are you going to probably about to say something about there? There's going to be a much bigger emotional payoff near the end of the game. Yeah, like in the last last few chapters or something. Like second half of chapter four to the end or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Anyway, who knows if any of that is right? But that's what I'm saying. Please help. I shall take that role. Wow, the only CG that Kodakio <laughs> has been the only person in, and he's not even facing the screen. <laughs> All right, everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. Can all four of you fit down that narrow walkway? Oh, jeez. I, I mean, as long as they don't actually disturb the salt, they could technically come from any direction. It's just, you, you better really be careful and watch where you're stepping. <laughs> see, see, Angie's stepping on it. Angie's stepping on it. She's doomed us all. Angie is stepping on it. Angie, oh, oh Angie has doomed us all. <laughs> I said what I meant. There's no room for regrets now. Even with four people, it's still really heavy. 
That is an interesting looking head on the statue. Well, it halfway looks like a bird. I mean, of course I can see the dog, yeah. but yeah, I, see I, what you mean. I also see a bird. <laughs> oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton. No, it is not much more than 175 pounds. Good God. Well, you got four people, you all right? Well, I'm totally wiped. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. They don't? Not her type of magic, my friend. Well, I, I guess so. She's not a necromancer or something. Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The cage is made of iron, you're fine. Or spirit medium or something. Well, 175 pounds, yeah, it should be all right. I mean, you sleep on your bed, don't you? Yeah. The iron cage was made specifically for seances, so it can hold this weight. Okay. I guess that's fine then. I don't blame you for being nervous. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing it. So then... This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Why are you saying that with such a threatening gesture? Or why are you threatening saying... Jesu Jesuit? I was about threatening to say gesture, but... Jezebel? <laughs> what were you trying to say? Expression. I don't know where gesture came from. No, no, you said Jezza. Yes, well, I stopped halfway. Shut up. That's a very threatening Aunt Jemima you've got going on there. Doesn't it look, however, that he's prepping her to just accept whatever it is that happens? Don't talk and just... Yeah. Just wait and it will occur? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, so it still seems like Korekio is going to be the one to do it. Got it. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. So she won't ruin it. Because if she were to just go, uh, hey... Okay, everyone, I'll see you guys after the seance, hopefully. I sure hope so. Well then. The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. Doi, oi, 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 We each stood in a different corner. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. <laughs> and another Shuichi with only Korikio's legs in it. <laughs> <sighs> Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. What? Billy just flashed me a look. Oh, of course, so no one else can interfere with it. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Well, in chapter two, we had a magic show from a performer. That, that's true, that's true. In chapter two of Danganronpa 2, we had a music show right. from a performer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a victim and not the... Not the blackened, right? Or chapter three, I said two, I meant three. And in chapter three of this, we're having a different type of performance. And the thing about performances is they are all hypnotic. Which is why they don't work on me, because I am too bloody stubborn. <laughs> I really want to be in a magic show. And have someone try and hypnotize and you. And have them ha and, and get picked myself for something like that. <laughs> I really want to do it. If it happens, I'll let you guys know what, what, what happened. If I can't come up with any appropriately heckly material on the spot, then I'll just ruin the show. <laughs> I'm not trying to necessarily be spiteful, but I guess it does come across that way, huh? Skeptics are important. Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Oh, 
Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. Nice. I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. <sighs> the room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. So dark, I couldn't even see my own body. What? What is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner. Then began the singing. At last, at last, at long last. Kyo led us all in the caged child song. Young our dog and little lost girl Sealed within an iron cage At mountain's bottom within the darkness At last, at last at long last. Yep. If you like this sort of thing, go play Raging Loop. How many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? Oh! Oh no! Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little girl? Did, did the floor just get out? It might have. Cory Keo did mention there were holes in the floor near uh, and, Himiko's feet. And we knew that that sort of thing, like from exploring this place earlier, at last, at last, at long last. No, Himiko was there. You can hear her in the singing. Yeah, no, I'm thinking something happened to Tenko. Yeah, like all the extra weight gave out under her. Yeah. My God. We finished singing the song, but... I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was that? Say. Is the caged child, Angie Yonaga. He began calling. Now, if the medium answers. Say. Is the caged child, Angie Yonaga. What's going on? Say. Is the caged child, Angie Yonaga? What's the matter? My God, I cannot believe it. I, I know I'm the one who brought it up, but I'm really shocked too. I genuinely didn't think they would do it. What's wrong? Why won't Angie answer? Hold on. Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? Hmm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um. Maybe it failed? Hey, Shuichi, did you mess up the magic circle? In a manner of speaking, it did fail. Yeah. Let's see. Wow, hold on, though. If Cory Keo was going to pretend to be Angie, then he still would have went through with it unless he knew this was going to happen. Maybe. Because if he was trying to ploy them, he wouldn't necessarily know, and this is an accident, I'm assuming, then he wouldn't necessarily know that something went wrong. Alternately, 
it could be that if he sensed something was going wrong, then it's better to play it straight. Oh, that's true. That's true. Or at that point, he actually looks more suspicious. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's possible, anyway. I don't know. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? Is that okay? Well. J- just for now. Confused, I walked along the wall back to the candle. I managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. Mm. Hmm. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? That cannot be. That shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. What? Is Angie not coming? Is that still Tenko in there? Hmm. Tenko? I see, yes. Uh, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> <laughs> she follows orders pretty darn well. But how about we let her out for now? Yeah, the cage and statue look intact, but you could see some blood. You could see the blood, yes. Hold on. Wait. Dark arts such as these need to be started and completed the same way. Yeah, if you're gonna F around with this stuff, you better make sure to sign off, so to speak. I don't know if I'd buy that at all. Well, we'll just wait for a second. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Man. Uh, Well, she didn't fall if there's blood, but... Yeah. You don't suppose it's two different murders, do you? They haven't... They haven't done that before. Well, I I mean, there was Hifumi killing Kiyotaka and then Celeste killing Hifumi in the first one. Yeah, but it was basically the same thing. Yeah. It could be. It could be. That would be. Because they were working together. Yeah. You know, she was trying to frame... He for me. Yeah. Uh, seeing how this was a failure, I don't think any spirit is sticking around, but uh, whatever. All right, well. Whatever. Oh, there's a floorboard out of place. Yeah, I see that. Well, I guess the other, the murder on the other side was a bit too clean and simple, wasn't it? Yeah. Because we have to deal with two separate cases. But... Just like setting up, Keo instructed us how to clean everything up. We were careful to remove everything in exactly the order Keo directed. Now, I will remove the sheet. God. Keo pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Oh? Perhaps something is amiss. Yeah. That's putting it mildly. So some sorry piece of crap opened up the floorboard and stabbed her or something from Maki's lab. Yeah, because that's directly underneath it. Well, so who the hell was it? It would have had to have been someone who understood the particulars of the seance. The people that weren't there were, as usual, Mr. Never Has an Alibi (laughs) because he's always wandered off somewhere. Gonta. Kibo. Yeah. But that seems odd, but so does any of the others. Maki. Or Miu. Well, Tsumugi wasn't there either. That's right, and Tsumugi. Hold on. If someone thought that Tenko had betrayed the student council and was the one who killed Angie, but they would have to know the particulars of what was going on, you know? Well, that's Kibo. Oh my god. Um, I really don't think it could have been the same person. I agree. Uh, no, that's not true. 
No, that's not true. It could have been. It could have been, and the plan is to set up somebody like Kibo. It could still even be Korekiya. That's true. That's true. That's true. After all, he knew he was going to do this in advance. That's true. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if it was Korekiya who killed Angie, right. then he would have known this in advance, that he was going to be doing it. Okay, I can understand why Cory Keogh would kill Angie because he wants to do this and all that sort of thing, but why Tanko? It had nothing to do with Tanko. It could have been anybody. It literally could have been anybody and it didn't matter. He just had to get someone to volunteer to be the spirit medium in the center. That's why he wasn't going to do it. But why? Like, I can't understand the motive of why he would want to kill someone. I have no idea what would make you actually act on wanting to kill someone for crying out mm. loud. It's so anathema to me. It does yeah. no good. And the idea of saying, well, I don't like this person, so I'm going to kill them. What a dumb thing. Yeah. How stupid. You were going to kill everybody else, too, if you try to get away with it. So why does it matter? Or, or are you just... You're just too much of a stupid fucking coward because you're only going to kill the one person with your own hands. Or do you think it's different or doesn't count? Ugh. For it to be Tanko, too. Poor Yimiko. She's lost everyone. It was going to be her, you know. It was going to be Himiko. I know. Himiko is the one who volunteered. In fact, Korekio might have even intended to, for it to be Himiko. If it was Korekio. Yeah. The only other person that would fit the bill for both of these is uh, is Kibo, though, right? Yeah. Um, and Kokichi. Yeah, it's not come on. It's not, it's yeah. not Kokichi. That's going to be in the last two chapters. Yeah. Or la or like in five or something. Uh, Gonta. I don't know. Nah, no. Nah, nah. And Maki just doesn't bother to learn or know about things like this. So, uh, um, I, I, I guess it could have been Maki, technically. Technically, uh, but I don't think it's... Maki yeah. has the proficiency. Um, she wasn't there. You're telling me Maki can't pick a lock? Well, she did also hear Kokichi read out the details that's of the seance, too. Okay, that's, okay. that's why I brought her up. But, uh, let's could be work. serious. Yeah. Kaito? No, no, it wasn't Kaito. He's... If Kaito would commit a murder, it would not be elaborate. <laughs> no, well, that's putting it politely. Well, it might yeah. it might be hard to figure out who did it, but it wouldn't be elaborate. Right, right, right. God. You know Himiko's gonna die in the next chapter. You know that's what's going to happen. I really hope not. I really hope not. Ah! Damn it! And it really was after the she's just be she's become one of our favorite characters speech. Of course, of course. <laughs> Fine. Well, Himiko, if Himiko were to kill somebody, it it would be next chapter. Yeah, after all this. What is what else does she have? Everyone who's ever been kind to her dies. Anyway. Don't worry about this. Well, that's a stupid thing to say. Don't worry about it, Himiko. What a dumb thing to say. But in any case, we'll take care of this for you. We will. <laughs> Himiko, I told you not to step on the... Now is not the time! But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and... Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted it up, and... <sighs> First Kaede, Hell Rontaro, now Tenko, the kindest people here. And in, in some sense, the wisest. Yeah. <laughs> really? Uh, who would have thought there'd be another victim during the investigation? 
Maybe Manufany's green puke was predicting this tragedy. <laughs> oh, now it's orange. What's that? Relief? Or ulcerative colitis? Ah! Oh, the puke's color is normal now. I guess it was predicting this. Well, no, that's not normal. Well, okay, it's normal puke color. But her normal puke color is, is white with lots of Naruto in it. Yeah, yeah. Not orange. I don't feel like engaging in the humor at the moment. Neither do I. For now. Everyone, please assemble in the seance room. The second body discovery announcement played. It didn't take long for everyone to come running. What? Tenko? Seriously? <laughs> what is this? How did this happen? How indeed? How this happened? Tenko! Gota, so sorry. Gota, no could protect you. Gota, you idiot. No matter how big and strong and nice you are, you can't protect everybody here, nor is it your responsibility. If you think you've kept failing, then quit falling for the stupid crap that other people try to manipulate you into doing. Just don't make it worse in the future. Wait a minute. Shuichi, explain the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, that's... I, I, I don't know. What... what's happening? Present Shiner Sign! Now get it! What on earth? I'm surprised too! I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation! Um... Um... I, 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 I guess for now, you should maybe start the investigation right away? Huh. They don't have a Monokuma file, it just happened! That, that's true. And there doesn't appear to be in this particular game, because the rules aren't the same in every game, there right. doesn't appear to be in this game a rule against two different murders. Yeah. What I'm curious is this has never happened before? Right. That's kind of interesting, considering how many times they've implied like the sort of cyclical Oh, I was waiting I was waiting for Monotaro to say something or imply something about that. Okay. To see. But at the very least, this is a brand new one for them. Yeah. Unless we're wrong about everything, but they did seem to imply the cyclical stuff a lot. Say. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko. Yes? Huh? If so... What happens in the event there are two murders by two people? What if there are two blackened? Of course. Yeah. He would be the one asking this. Will we need to find them both at the same class trial? That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Yeah? Uh, huh? Uh, what, what, what would happen? Motodem, what, what would happen? Um. What, what would happen in a time like this if only father were around? Not that. Why do you look lost too, Monodem? I thought you were going to run things instead of daddy. I. I. I never expected something like this to happen. It is a brand new experience. Um, I I don't know what to do. Really, I don't know. Oh, oh man, they're all disorganized. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> if you can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't even know what to investigate. Father! Father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. If we put him back in charge, Monokuma theaters are better than Monokuma <laughs> theaters anyway. No way! Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us.
It's all our fault that Daddy ended up like that. Yeah? Huh? It's all your fault, Minophony? Daddy! Daddy! Help! We don't know what to do on our own! Ah! We gotta use the power of love! Is that ought to snap him back to normal? Everyone lick him! So I'm going to ignore that <laughs> and just say that the power of love did not grow my hair back. <laughs> Alternately, I am divorced, so hey. th that won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. You're on the threshold. <laughs> Sobbing is the only function he has remaining. That's right. That's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. Living is all the rage these days, not cynical dying. I suppose so. <laughs> you don't understand that, because you've never been loved before, Monodem. Daddy! Daddy! I love you, so please go back to normal. I don't care about any of this. I don't I am, either. No. I am really upset about Tanko, and I am ready to start ripping people's heads off. This is not helping. Yeah. Father! I want to see you, Father. I love you with all my heart. I still don't have my voice all the way back. Oh, you're making me blush. Ah! I'm back! Were you good while I was away? So we've had two of them die, but here's a third one. <laughs> Thank you so much, my adorable darling cat! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> okay, this is getting weird. With you running the academy, I was able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation. <laughs> oh, that tickles. Father's intense love is getting me all soaked. Daddy, your tongue feels amazing. This better not awaken anything in me. Uh, okay, okay. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say? No. <laughs> My feelings, exactly. No, no. Man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take time off to relax. To tell you the truth. Normally, most companies won't even let you take time off to go on vacation. I'm satisfied with this. But I was able to do it. The secret is to just leave whether you get permission or not. Um... Huh? Wait, so then who's this Baldy then? <laughs> yeah? Oh, just a part-timer I got to cover me while I was gone. I used ZipRecruiter! Much better than LinkedIn! Hey! Here's your pay like we agreed on! Now take it and get out of here! Why? Huh? I, I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. <laughs> See ya! Huh? Now that that nuisance is out of the way, uh, what were you guys talking about again? Something unimportant, I'm sure? Something pretty darn important. I'll get back to hating you, Monokuma, later. You flatterer. Yeah? Oh, that's right! What happens to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? I'll answer that. Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first served. First come, first served? Oh my god. So if we couldn't get this plot point way back when we got the first blood perk, then we'll get it now? Where if there's two killers... The then second I'll... one just gets off? Yeah. Or the first one gets off. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What a mess of a trial that would be. Huh? First come, first served. Hey, um... The blackie who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. What about the second? In other words... If the blackie who killed Angie isn't the same one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the blackened. Oh, no. If it isn't the same person. Let's just say it's Konekiyo who killed Angie. Okay, okay. Uh, perhaps we're wrong, but, but whatever, we'll get there. I, I'd say that the hanging wax effigies really went towards that. Right, uh, right. Theatrical. But anyway, so Konekiyo killed Angie, and we get him. And it was Kibo who killed Tanko. Okay. Next chapter, what do you think's going to happen? Oh. Who do you think is just going to have a suicidal death wish and go after Kibo unendingly? Yeah. He might not even make it five steps. Very first night or something. Well, we'll see. Alternately, we may not figure it out. Well, this is a new situation, not a standard situation. I, I appreciate that. Basically, Tenko's killer wasted a kill, and Tenko herself is a waste of a victim. You shut the hell up, you effing bear! Now then. Oh, I'll add this to the school regulation so you can review it later. Go ahead. I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder, too. And he already updated the file, huh? Well, I guess he really is the boss. Oh, 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 oh! Well, the you... victim was stabbed in the back of her neck. She yeah. couldn't have been stabbed from under the floorboard. Someone would have had to have lifted the curtain and stab her as she was kneeling in her position. Well, I suppose we know who it is then. Yeah, especially considering her crouched position and who was on that side of the room. She was facing to the left side of the room where Himiko and Shuichi were standing, putting her back to Kokichi and Korikiyo's side of the room. Was she? Well, I'll we'll take- We'll find out in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your word for it. Also, you know for a fact that today's object of approved hate, Maki, is going to be blamed for the double back of the net kill. Uh, probably, yeah. If it's Korikiyo, which is what it seems to look like. Okay, cool, so he just drops the dang weapon. But, or doesn't he? Where does it go? It could have gone under the floorboard. Remember, one of the floorboards was moved, so he could have stabbed her and then dropped it okay, in. Okay, well, in that case, that would be very easy to find. True, true. No, if it was that easy to find, then that was even riskier than it looked like, because if they find a dropped weapon, then they know for a fact it was somebody right there. Good point, okay, okay. I mean, it won't happen, but what we... I mean, nobody will look down the dang floorboard anyway. Of course they won't. And nobody will search anybody here either. Nobody should be able to leave this room until they've been searched. Yeah. Boy, everything is going so smoothly now that Father's running things again. I'm looking forward to his next theater. Bro had the references, but he just doesn't have the charisma. <laughs> Leaders gotta be able to take decisive action. Indecision is just the worst. Daddy! Daddy, you're glowing! You're glowing like a lamb! No! <sighs> I'm satisfied with this. There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. For as long as you live, which may not be that long, I will never let any of you go! Good parenting tips. The best! Hmm? He just left us behind while he was saying he'd never let us go! How nice! That's why he's so amazing! Please lick me some more, Daddy! Ah! Red! Red! <laughs> So long, farewell. No. 
self-loathing, envy, wrath, sloth, gluttony. Thus? <laughs> Red! <laughs> um... So, to make sense of all of that... Whoever it was that killed her just got away with it. Assuming it wasn't the same person. Assuming it wasn't the same person. Korekio is the one who asked for the immediate clarification. It also leaves open the strange strategy of, okay, you got me. I killed Tenko, but I didn't kill Angie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hate me as a murderer all you want, and then that way it can deflect attention from him. Yeah. And maybe that might be why this one would be a little more obvious. Like you said, if he stabbed them, then dropped the weapon. If he made it so it was a little more obvious to pin it, pin this one on him and not Angie. But he wouldn't have known the rules in advance. Ah, good point, good point, good point. Listen closely. If both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine Angie's killer. Nope. But we don't even know if there is a different culprit, do we? Let's see. True. We should take the extra time and investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. How exciting! <laughs> Finally, things are heating up! I'm getting so excited! Piece of shit! Ow, you fucking psycho! Yeah. Shuichi! This is bad. Huh? <sighs> this is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tanko was killed. Neither can I, Kaito. Everyone's upset and confused, and I'm in no shape to help right now. But you know... So, this is where you need to step up. Listen up. Listen, Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Understood, Ariki. Spiral power, Hatsudo. Bro, bro, fight the power. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Then let's check the Monokuma file first. We are so checking the Monokuma file first, we already <laughs> did. <laughs> let's just leave it alone. We're, we're just over. Yeah. Man, I'm really, really upset. And I'm also upset that the game didn't actually let me be upset and immediately dissipated the tension. With the goofiness? Yeah. Well, not with the goofiness generally, with the goofiness specifically. Mm. Of course the Mono Cubs would show up immediately at that point, and of course they would do their usual stuff, but I would rather have actually had a time to be a lot more in shock and sad instead of immediately go into their 25 minute long comedy routine. Yeah. What a waste. Let's gripe some more next time. Well, I may gripe, but I mean, we're only the players, of course. Yeah. But we'll do what we can do to make things better. <laughs>